Beginning our top story, people from all over the world are converging on Mount Hood tonight for tomorrow's Hood to Coast Relay. But this year it comes with a warning from firefighters. Do not set off even a spark. KGW's environmental reporter Keely Chalmers is live along the race route on Highway 26 in Sandy. And Keely, the fire danger up there is already high. Yeah, that's right. And with the temperatures heating up this weekend and the winds expected to pick up, that danger is likely to reach extreme levels. All this grass here that lines Highway 26 and the runner's route is tinder dry. Perfect fuel for a fire. Up at Timberline, crews ready the starting line for the annual Hood to Coast Relay. At 5 tomorrow morning, more than a 1,000 runners will take off from here. We're feeling good and prepared. Emily Spiegel will be one of them. This is our fourth time doing Hood to Coast. But this year, she and her team are stocking a little extra gear in their van. Obviously making sure we have plenty of water if we need to use it, fire extinguishers. The reason? All the moisture is gone. These fuels are cured out and they are just tinder. The fire danger up here is already high. Add all those extra people and more than a thousand transport vans to the mix. But then Fire Chief John Ingreo says grass fires could ignite pretty easily. Something very easy as far as a cigarette, someone parking with a catalytic converter, can easily light these. As a result, Hoodland Fire has brought in brush fire rigs from surrounding towns and will be staffing up. I'm staffing up for 55 personnel, combat personnel to fight fires, and our normal staffing each day is nine. Race planners have also prepared. In addition to the no smoking ban, bonfires will be banned as well. No fires on the beach, which is a new thing this year. We strongly suggest that people carry fire extinguishers in their van and at every race exchange we'll have fire extinguishers as well. Race organizers will also be in close radio contact with Hoodland Fire in case there is a problem. Chief Ingreo says with any additional firefighting resources already committed to the many fires burning in Oregon, if one were to break out here, it could take hours for backup to get up here, if not longer. That's a significant concern. Now, Hoodland Fire says it normally staffs nine firefighters up here during a typical weekend, but this weekend it is pulling everyone in. It will have 55 firefighters stationed up here this weekend. Back to you.